channel where we do lots of unboxings over here. Today we are looking at the Neiman Marcus Fragrance Advent Calendar. I ordered this, you guys, at the beginning of October. I went back and checked it out and I ordered it on October 2nd. It was the same time that I ordered the regular Neiman Marcus Advent. That calendar shipped to me. I already made my unboxing video. And then the fragrance advent just never shipped out. Like it just never came. So after speaking to, I think, three different customer service employees at Neiman Marcus, I mean, it took a while, you guys. They were finally assured me, yes, we'll get it shipped out to you. And that was two weeks ago. And I was like, I'm never gonna get this advent. Like I'm just never gonna get it. And I just got home, you guys, from getting groceries, which is why I'm in a hoodie right now. And I just found this on my front porch. So I figure, oh, why wait any longer, you guys? I really want to see what's inside of this advent. Fragrances are one of my favorite things to unbox, and I cannot wait to check this one out. Now, if you're interested in this advent calendar, I will have a link listed down below for you guys. You may also see it pop up here on YouTube on the actual video. There's a tab that will say view products and you can click on that and it will take you directly to this advent as well. This is a new thing that YouTube is trying out and it seems to be working well for everyone. So you can buy it through my link or through the photo that YouTube puts on here as well. Either way, it will work. So this advent calendar retails for $155 and it will have 12 fragrances inside. This is supposed to have a variety of fragrances. So I do like that it's not all one brand. I've checked out a few from like Jo Malone and a couple other fragrance companies and they do have their own advents, but I kind of like getting the mixture and the variety. So that's what's nice about this one. So packaging on here is absolutely gorgeous. It's got the same print as the beauty advent calendar that they put out earlier. Love the way that this looks. I did have a little bit of a ding right here on the corner, but honestly, it's nothing major. I can totally deal with that. This calendar will have 12 days inside of it. So for $155, you will get 12 different fragrances. And I believe... It's been a while since I remember reading about this. I don't think these are gonna be small little sample cards. I don't think. I hope not at least because I don't know if that's worth it, but I think it's supposed to be good sizes. So per usual, we are going to be starting with day number one. So inside of this drawer, we do have a perfume in here and it is not a sample card. When I'm talking about sample cards are those little spritzers that are 1.2 mil. This is five mil of fragrance. So love this. This is exactly what I would want. So this one is the Impressa perfume, and I don't know this one, so it's a new perfume to me. Love that. Look at how cute you are. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. Is that not adorable? Wow, I can smell it already, too. So you got this cute little strand, little glass bottle. It's so cute. It kind of reminds me of like a whiskey bottle or a moonshine bottle, you know what I mean? Like, it's just adorable. Man, this is strong. So this one is a really strong note. I can definitely, like you can smell the alcohol with this one. So I do think it will last a really long time, which is nice, but it is a very strong fragrance. So it says online that this features peach, vanilla, and blood orange inside of this fragrance. Now I do feel like I notice a citrus note in here, which I'm guessing is that blood orange scent, but I don't smell any peach in this whatsoever, you guys. Like I smell the citrus and it smells like a really strong perfume. I could tell there's a little bit of vanilla as well, but it's weird because peach is supposed to be the predominant scent, but I don't know. It just doesn't quite smell like peach to me. I just get citrus. It's not a bad thing though, you guys. Like I still like the size of this one and I'm still happy with it with overall value. Next up in day number two, we have a product from Byredo. This is their... Oh my gosh, you guys, like I'm gonna ruin this. This is the Ball d'Afrique. I probably ruined it. So it's eight mil though. I mean, that's the good news about this, right? So it's eight mil. I'm so relieved we're not getting the sample cards. I remembered thinking we were gonna have decent sized perfumes and for fragrances, I didn't feel like 155 was a terrible price point on this just because $155 is nothing in the fragrance world. But I also like that you can try out, you know, 12 different fragrances at a cheaper price point than if you were to buy them brand new. 
So let me go ahead and smell this one here and see what it's like. Ooh, that's good. Now I've got my tablet here, so we're gonna double check the scents on these ones. This says that it is a love letter to Africa. So it says that this will be a beautiful and fantasy scent, but it doesn't have any notes as to what it is. That's all it says is that it's fantasy and that it's beautiful. It does smell beautiful, you guys. Like it smells like a really good perfume. I like that it's not a strong floral. It's a very soft, subtle floral note, but it's also very sweet. This one smells really pretty, so even though I can't pronounce it, I do like it. Next up in door number three, we have a product from Glass House Fragrances. This one is huge. Oh, it's a candle. I didn't know we were getting candles. I thought this was all like, like fragrances fragrances, not like smelling a candle fragrance. So this is Kyoto in Bloom. It is a soy candle and it's one ounce. So this is what it looks like here. I did not realize there were going to be candles in this. Here's your little jar. Oh, it's cute. I like the little glass jar here. It's got a cute little base to it. Single wick. And it's supposed to be a lotus flower scent. It smells really good. I mean, I love the scent of it. I just thought we were getting all perfumes in here was the only thing. See, it's been so long ago, I don't even remember when I read about this, when I actually ordered it. It does smell really good though. Like I will burn this. I honestly would rebuy this too, depending on the price point because I probably can't afford it. But I do think it's a good smelling candle. Well, now I'm curious because apparently there could be other things in here besides just fragrances. So in day number four, we have a product in here from Memo. This one is a rose affair. It says it's rose oil and lime oil in here. So this is what it will look like. French leather is the idea. So five mil, it is a perfume, and then it will be a spritzer like this. So I get a little nervous with the leather scent, you guys. Ever since we smelled that one perfume from an advent, I don't even remember which advent it was, but it was such a strong leather scent. I'm now like, oh, so skeptical. Like I, you know, it just was so bad that I'm now very nervous of these. That and that charcoal candle, those two, those were the two stinkiest things of the season. Oh, this is good though. It's definitely rose. But yeah, I don't get any leather in here. This is good, still very feminine. Next up in day five, we have another fragrance that I cannot pronounce. And this is the thing you guys, is even when I try to pronounce it, I know it sounds terrible. But this one is a perfume, it's five mil, it's from Juliet, oh, her last name is even harder than her first name. It's like I was set out to fail with this perfume. You guys, look at all these little words. But then you wanna see her last name? Look at this name down here. There's the whole alphabet in it. There's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce this. So let's see here if it says, yeah, it says it's a fresh and salty marine scent. It's inspired by the waves of Brittany. And it says that it's got a gray amber note to it. So this is what your little bottle will look like here. Isn't it adorable? And then it is all glass. Is there anything in it? Guys, I think it's empty. Hold on a second. As I'm looking at it, I don't even smell anything. It's empty, you guys! Wait, 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 am I missing something? Am I supposed to fill this myself? I think that's all that's in this box, right? Yeah, that's all that's in here. I mean, the box is empty, you guys. And then, did it leak? There's nothing else in here but the tissue, but it's not even wet. I mean, like, the cardboard would have been wet had this leaked out. I just don't have any fragrance in here. I'll be, I wait two months to get this and I get an empty bottle, you guys. Like there is literally nothing inside of this bottle. Okay, that is really weird. Well, this is one that I do feel like I need to contact them about because unless I'm missing something, you guys comment down below, like if I'm, maybe I'm oblivious, but yeah, in day number five, I just have an empty perfume bottle. Okay, so this is a little interesting. Is it supposed to be this way? Because, on the Neiman Marcus website, it says, fascinated by the Britney Coast, the perfumer Juliet wanted to capture its iodized oxygen in a bottle. Wanted to capture the oxygen in a bottle. To delicately evoke the sea spray, she first composed a marina cord imagined as a salt vapor, a canvas on which she overlaid seaweed and cypress, which will balance the heart of the fragrance and also bring a touch of green that evokes Britney. 
On the skin, the breeze gives way to an addictive softness. I mean, I'm supposed to have perfume in here, right? Like this isn't like some fancy expensive thing that rich people do where we just bottle oxygen and it's perfumed, like, right? Like I'm not crazy. I don't know. I'm like reading this now and I'm starting to get very skeptical. Like, did I just buy an empty bottle? I don't get it. Maybe there's more to this, but I don't get it. Okay, let's move on to day number six. I hope I don't have any more bottled oxygen. <laughs> you know, I will say this will go down as the thing I will remember the most from this year's Advents. Like I said, with those other scents, with the charcoal candle, the leather one, like those are going to be permanent memories for me. But if I get a perfume bottle that just has air in it, I will never forget this. Moving on to day six. We are halfway through this advent, you guys. This next perfume is from Killian. And this is what it looks like here. It is in a wrapped bottle here. Seven and a half mil is what it says on this one. It is a perfume. So let me go ahead and pull it out. It's called Good Girl Gone Bad is the name of this fragrance. Love the packaging. Very fancy. And then this is what your spritzer will look like here. Quite a bit of fragrance here too, which I do like that. I like how large it is. Oh, this is good. This features apricot inside of it. So it says that it's apricot, orange blossom, and rose. And this is all supposed to be the ultimate temptress with jasmine in here. There's also going to be a few other flowers included as well. It is really good, you guys. Like, I mean, I'm tempted. Like, it smells wonderful. This one I will definitely wear. This is my favorite one I've seen so far. Next up in day seven, we have a product that is from Nomad. This is called Bond Number no. Nine. So we do have a travel size spray here. This is seven and a half mil inside of this bottle. And the scent on here, oh, now there is amber in there for sure. I love a good amber note because it gives you that warm, like sensual feeling. Like it smells warm and this definitely has that in there. So this one smells really good, but it's also got a little bit of a muskiness in there. I feel like if you are not into a really strong floral scent, like if you don't like flowers at all, this would be a great option because I just smell musk and amber. I don't smell any flowers whatsoever. I'm going to double check here real quick on my list on my tablet. So it states that this one is the free spirit of New York. It says it's a strong statement making oud and it has modern luxurious amber notes. I knew there was amber in there. In day eight, we have a product in here from Maison. This is the Hibiscus Maja Mahajad. This is a perfume that we have here. And when I say perfume, you guys, like, I know these are all fragrances. I'm more so pointing out the fact that these aren't like the colognes, like the different levels. So the perfumes do have the most concentrate in them. And that's what I'm referencing when I'm looking at these ones here. So just so you know, I, I'm sure some of you are like, Sydney, all of it's a perfume. Except for the candle, technically. But that's what I meant. So this is what it will look like here for the bottle. Good size amount again. Like, I do like, you guys, that we're getting good amounts here. So this is 5 mil or 0.17 ounces. Man, it looks so much bigger than 5 mil. It's crazy to me because that looks like a really large jar. But anyways, it says 5 mil. Ooh, this is nice. Man, and all of these fragrances have all been completely different. It's not like they're even close to one another. You have a really good variety box here. So this one features hibiscus in it, vanilla beans, leather, and musk, which you guys, I don't get any leather at all in this. I mean, seriously, I don't get that. I get the hibiscus, I get the musk that's in there as well, but I don't smell an ounce of leather, but apparently it's in there. I sometimes wonder how much they put in there of something. You know, when they say leather, how much actually makes it into the bottle? Because I really do smell the hibiscus a lot. Like it's a really great, like it's a soft floral note, but like the leather must be a really small amount. Next up in day number nine, we have a body lotion in here, 75 mil. So I guess this is a perfume scented lotion. I mean, I get the idea behind it, just not what I thought was gonna be in here. Two and a half ounces, it is a travel sized amount that we have here. So it is gonna be a strongly scented lotion. The idea is that you don't have to spritz perfume on because this is already scented for you. Ooh, this does smell powder fresh. Fresh out of the shower. 
like a eucalyptus scent. Like it smells clean and super fresh. Day 10 happens to be one of our larger drawers in the advent calendar. So this one is very deep. And inside we have a fragrance from Ex Nilo? Nihilo? So this is what it looks like here for our packaging. And it states that this perfume is seven and a half mil or 0.25 ounces. So inside we have our travel spritzer here. So this is what it looks like. They do all look very similar. They all kind of have the gold caps up top. You know what I mean? Ooh, now this is stronger. Yikes, this has a lot of alcohol in it. Like it's almost burning my nostrils. That's how strong the scent is. I don't know if I could wear this one because it kind of gives me a headache if I'm not, you know what I mean? Like if I'm being completely honest with you guys, like the scent is just really strong. So this one mentions that it's a cutting edge fragrance and it is supposed to feature ginger, musk, and amber notes inside of it. It is so powerful, you guys. Like this is definitely one that will be going in a giveaway because it is too powerful for me. So spoiler alert, stay tuned. December 2nd, maybe you wanna tune in, you know? Just happen to look on the channel. Next up in day number 11, we have a fragrance in here. It says it's an oud, actually. I do like that scent. So this one is five mil of product that we have here on this bottle. I wish these would have been the miniature bottles. You know what we saw earlier with the, which advent was it? The Macy's advent, where we saw the little Gucci bottle, the little coach bottles. I wish these would have all been in the little smaller versions of the large ones. I don't mind these. It just would have been so cute to have all of these little mini fragrances. I just would have loved that. So this is what it looks like here for this one. Five mil again on this fragrance. Oh, this one smells smoky. I feel like something is on fire with this fragrance, you guys. So this one says that it, yes, it's a wood scent that has musk in here and smoke to be a bold formula. Yeah, I mean, literally, it smells like we are putting a fire on right now. Last day of this advent calendar, you guys, is day 12. So inside of this drawer, we have, holy bananas, this is heavy. What is this? Mind Games. This is the Black Cherry Amber Fragrance. It is so heavy, like it's a paperweight, you guys. Seven and a half mil is what we have. And this is what it looks like. Is it gonna be a chess piece? Would that not be awesome if they had chess pieces? Okay, it's not, but it would be really cool. Wait a second, didn't we have this in something and I said the same thing that it was so ridiculously heavy? All of my advents are starting to blur together, you guys. Like, there's just been so much in such a short window that I'm forgetting. But I remember the weight on here, and I remember this black box. So I do think we had this maybe early on, like in Herod's or something. There was a lot. So this is what your fragrance will look like here. So on this one, oh, it's sweeter. Okay, so you're definitely smelling the amber in this one. Like, it's very noticeable. I know in the box it said black cherry on here. I can tell that there's a little bit of sweetness, which I'm guessing is from the cherry, but it's not, I mean, I smell amber predominantly. Like, that is the main thing that I get out of this. But I feel like there is a touch of muskiness in there too. Like, it kind of smokes out the edge just a little bit. It's really good. If you like an amber scent, I think you would like this one, which I happen to love amber scents. So yes, this is a win for me. So that is everything inside of the Neiman Marcus Fragrance Advent Calendar for 2024. Comment down below, you guys. Let me know what did you think of this advent calendar. I do like that there's a lot of variety in here. It's not all one type of fragrance. You know what I mean? Like it's not all florals. I like that there's something in here for literally everyone. There are floral things, but there's also citrus and ginger. There's smoke in here. There's the oud. We've had amber. Like I like that it's a lot of variety. Now I was a little surprised to see the candle and the body lotion in here. I kind of get the body lotion more than I do the candle. That one just kind of I don't know, like I know it is a fragrance and you smell it, but I don't know that I love having it in here. I would have preferred this to be all of the perfumes. I am still very confused though with this empty bottle. And I'm like, I just don't know if it's supposed to have a fragrance in it or not. I need my girlfriends to help me out here with this. But at the end of the day, I was looking for $155 worth of products just to break even on this advent. That equals out to being about $12.90 per door for me to pay for each of these items. And so I look at this and go, would I spend $13 on a candle, a votive candle? 
I don't think I would, you guys. Even though it smells amazing, I know it's from a great brand, that seems a bit expensive to me. $13 for an empty bottle? Definitely not. Like, I wouldn't spend anything on an empty bottle, you guys. So that also doesn't sit well with me. I do think $13 for a lot of these other fragrances are worth it, especially ending with these ones that are like seven and a half mil. I think that is a great steal. So for the most part, I like this calendar, but I'm just not in love with getting the candle in here. I'm not in love with the empty bottle, and I'm not sure if I really like the lotion either. Those three things are bringing this advent down. But other than that, I do like the variety in here. So for $155, I feel like it's a little overpriced. I don't think it's overpriced by much. I think this would have been great like at $100, maybe even like $115, $120. But I do feel like it's a little overpriced for what you're getting just by a smidge. So now we just need to decide where are we putting this at on our best to worst list, you guys. In terms of value, I actually think this did better than their beauty advent calendar did. So until next time, beautifuls, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye! Now I gotta go put away my groceries.